Hello, this is Sage. Welcome back to Kalkine TV and you are watching Kalkine TV live from the Sydney studios. And this is the last show of the day, the last trade. So let's get started with today's market close commentary. Well, the Australian shares rebounded strongly from the day's low after the country's central bank maintained status quo to support the economic growth. The Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, kept interest rates steady at record lows in line with market expectations and reiterated its commitment to maintaining highly supportive monetary conditions to support a return to full employment in the country and inflation consistent with the targets. Extending losses for the second day, the S&P ASX 200 closed lower Tuesday, dropping 19 points or 0.27 per cent to 7,142.60 after setting a new 52-week high. The bottom performing stocks in this index were Blackmore's Limited down 4.81 per cent and Neomap Limited down as well 4.74 per cent. Over the last five days, the index has gained 0.39% and is currently 0.84% off its 52-week high. The market breadth indicating the overall strength of the market was weak, with seven of the 11 sectoral indices trading in the red, and the healthcare sector was the top loser on the ASX, declining 0.75% before the close. Financials, Information Technology, A-REIT, Industrials, Telecommunication Services, Consumer Discretionary as well were also reeling under selling pressure. But bucking the trend, the energy sector was the top performer, rising 1.15% in the intraday session and 0.28% over the past five sessions. Materials, Consumer Staples and Utilities are among other top gainers on the ASX. In energy space, Woodside Petroleum, Santos and Oil Search Limited were trading higher, over 1% each. While Origin Energy Limited, Beach Energy Limited and Ample Limited were trading flat. In a similar trend, miners' stocks jumped 1% after the iron ore futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange for September month delivery surged 5.2% to 1,106 yuan per tonne after the market recorded heavy losses in the last few weeks amid China's vow to stabilise the surge in commodity prices. And the mining heavyweights like Fortescue Metals Group Limited, Whitehaven Coal Limited and Pilbara Minerals Limited gained between 2 to 3 per cent. Now let's focus on the top gainers and losers of the day. Whitehaven Coal Limited, Australia's largest independent coal mining company, emerges as a top gainer on the ASX, surged 5.1%. Specialty dairy company A2 Milk, Reese Limited and Mineral Resources Limited, as well as Megaport Limited, were also among the notable gainers, rising in the range of 2 to 3.5%. Australian mining company Linus Corporation Limited is the top percentage loser on the ASX, fell 4.8% today. Blackmore's Limited, Nearmap and Polynovo Limited, as well as Bega Cheese Limited, are among the worst performers on the ASX, falling between 3 to 5.5% today. And let's move on to the Forex space. Australian dollar bond yields rise after policy announcements. The commodity price sensitive Australian currency is trading 0.17% higher at 0.7748 against the US counterpart after the RBA policy announcement. The 10 year Australian bond yields also trade higher by 0.24% at 1.660 after the central bank decided to maintain the targets of 10 basis points for the yield on the three-year Australian government bond. It has also kept the parameters of the government bond purchase program unchanged. And before I share more news on the ASX listed stocks, it's time for a short break. At Calkine TV, we'll take you to the heart of the Australian equity market. We'll bring you breakthrough stories that highlight volatility as well as tailwinds building across the length and breadth of markets. Whether space travel will gain momentum while economies may gradually open amid vaccine rollouts. 
our experts will share their timely inputs. So join us on this exciting journey of live streaming, financial and stock market news. Calkine TV. Hello, welcome back. I am Sage and you are watching Calkine TV live from the Sydney studio. And this is the last show of the day, the last trade. Well, let's focus on the shares that are in the news today from the Australian stock market. The first stock shares of Metals Tech Limited has announced that it has completed its diamond drilling program. And we'll just need to take a short, another short break um, and we'll be back right after this. It's just gone weird. The market takes the weekend off, but your money won't. Get a comprehensive update on the ASX listed stocks and market trends. Watch the experts touch upon the fundamental and technical developments and trending strategies in the equity space. We will be your daily guide as you explore the Australian share market, be it global vaccine developments or China's trade relations or global political turmoil or economic revival prospects. We will bring you live updates driving the equity market trends. Calkine TV. Thanks for staying with us. This is Sage at Calkine TV and you are watching the Market Close Commentary, the last trade for the Australian stock market. Let's now focus on the shares that are in the news today. The first stock, Shares of Metals Tech Limited, has announced that it has completed its diamond drilling program at the Styric Gold Mine. The company hit visible gold in nine out of 16 holes and the company says this aggressive drilling has been supported by the recently signed 18 million Australian dollar deal with Lithium Royalty Corp, which included 6 million Australian dollars of cash payment to Metals Tech. The Metals Tech Limited share price surged 48.4% to 28 cents in today's session. The next stock on the list is internet service provider Vonex Limited has finally completed the integration of Nextel into its business operations. Earlier in February, the company had announced the completion of Nextel's acquisition. The VNH share price is trading 25% up at 15 cents Australian, trading at the highest level since the 7th of May 2021. Let's move on now to Legend Mining Limited, who has announced the results of diamond drilling at the flagship Mawson Nickel Copper Cobalt Prospect. The LEG share price is trading at 0.135 Australian dollars, surging 17.3%. The next stock on the list is InfoMedia Limited, a leading SAAS platform provider in part service and data insights, has provided a financial year 21 update stating the completion of the acquisition of US-based e-commerce platform Simple Part. However, Simple Part is not expected to contribute materially to InfoMedia's financial results for financial year 21. The IFM share price has risen to the highest since the 6th of May, currently trading 16.2% up at $1.57 Australian. Let's move on again. Shares of microscopic imaging and related technology developer OptiScan Imaging Limited gained as much as 4.2% to reach 0.375 Australian dollars per share. The company stated it is in the process of submitting applications to the US Food and Drug Administration. 510k for market clearance of its InVivage device. And moving on again, software solutions firm Arctis Limited shared that the company has entered a partnership with Tails Australia, Microsoft and Australian SME's Myriad Technologies, the Fortify Edge as well to launch Nexium Defence Cloud Edge. NDC Edge, in other words. The NDC Edge solution gives a secure tactical cloud computing capability at the edge of the battle space and includes Arctis's Congency platform to provide Australian sovereign technology for highly secure, sensitive and classified information, collaboration as well as sharing. The share price of the Arctis Limited stock AR9 is trading at 0.275 Australian dollars per share. This is up 14.583%. 
The next stock on the radar is shares of Montem Resources Limited, who have gained as much as 4.6% to reach 9.1 cents on the 1st of June 2021. This coal mine developer informed it has received final terms of reference for environmental impact assessments on its proposed tent mountain hard coking coal mine in Alberta. And now we are going to be looking at the shares of Namoy Cotton Limited, who has gained as much as 1.4% to reach 35.5 cents on Tuesday. The cotton processing firm shared it has appointed John Stevenson as its chief executive officer, effective from the 7th of June. Shares of Infomedia Limited rose as much as 13.7% to reach $1.54 Australian, their biggest intraday percentage gain since the 24th of March 2020. And the software provider shared it anticipates final revenue of 95 million Australian dollars to 96 million Australian dollars and cash a bit now of 19 million to 20 million Australian dollars for the financial year of 21. Next up is Noxifarm Limited, who recently published its new independent clinical trial. The trials support NOX's aim for Vayonda to become a standard companion drug for primary anti-cancer therapies. And NOX shares traded at 70 cents. Let's now focus the lens on the global markets, beginning with the Asian markets. Asian stock markets continue subdued. Trade in the late morning deals on Tuesday as investors reacted to disappointing economic data from China and Japan. Japan's Nikkei 225 is trading lower by 0.12% in a volatile trade as investors digested weaker than expected growth in factory output. China's Shanghai Composite is also down 0.1%, while the Straits Times Index in Singapore is trading higher by 0.08%. New Zealand's benchmark S&P NZX50 traded higher by 0.5%. The South Korean Kospi and the Taiwan market also trade higher. India's BSE Sensex edged lower in the volatile trade on Tuesday and the 30 share BSE index is trading lower by 0.16%, pairing the earlier gains. The US stock market was closed on Monday on account of the Memorial Day holiday. Hope you enjoyed that report and thanks so much for your time watching. That is all from Kalkine TV for the last trade and for the day. But just to let you know, Kalkine Media has launched its operations in the US markets and every day in our first show, the global market updates. You can get latest and important news of the US markets from the overnight happenings. And on that note, I shall see you as close as possible to 10.30 a.m. live from Sydney. This is Sage signing off.